The whole reason why we began this study here at George Brown was because of the initiative that Waterloo took. So they wanted to provide a study, get results, publish them on their website so that homeowners now when they go buy a water softener can relate to which softener is more efficient. And I brought that idea here to George Brown. We replicated their study doing the same battery of tests on water softeners. Our industry partners come in and they give us new ideas and new ways of looking at things. So we constantly rely on salespeople and owners and managers of the industry to come in and say, we have a new idea, we have a new product. But you will find with our water conditioning lab that this is the latest technology on the market. Well, we did studies. The first one was a study on alternative water conditioning. Uh, the second one was reverse osmosis uh, study. The third was a water softening study which included performance and water consumption and salt consumption. And the last study was a corrosion study based on how soft water affects copper pipe. At the industry is saying that for every one liter of water they make, they waste three liters of water. So we have the students actually measure that. So now they can go out in the field and they can tell their customer exactly how much water that actually wastes. We introduce a new technology, a technology that is an alternative to a water softener which does not produce any wastewater and does not use any chemicals. For example, at the Courtright Center, they don't have any wastewater. They alleviated all their issues, including wasting salt. I believe industry partners should partner with George Brown College for several reasons. The facilities here to accomplish anything that they want to, the experience of exposing their product and their theory to plumbers, is only going to benefit them.